Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Luqman bin Muhammad Azizin. My metric number CD180117. What is transformer? Transformer is a static device. An electrical device which change alternating electromagnetic field into larger or smaller alternating electromagnetic field. It is like a power converter that transfer electrical energy from one circuit to another through inductive couple conductors. For example, transformers coil. Transformers are used in our homes to keep voltage up to 220 volts. It transfers electrical energy from one part of the electrical or electronic circuit to other part of circuit without changing the frequency. It works on the microfarad's law of electromagnetic mutual induction. Transformers are composed of an iron core wheel wrapped in coils. One coil is connected to an AC input voltage and is called the primary coil. The other coil is connected to an output circuit with a load resistance and is called the secondary coil. The two coils are well insulated from each other and do not form a physical electrical connection. This gives a transformer its unique electricity alternating properties. Transformers can either step up or step down a voltage. In a step up transformer, the number of turns in the secondary coil is greater than the number of turns in the primary coil. The constantly changing current driven by an alternating voltage source induces a changing magnetic field in the core of the transformers. The magnetic field created by the alternating current in the primary coil generates the flux in the transformer's core. The secondary coil converts the flux back into current flow and produces a voltage at the load or resistance in the secondary circuit. In this video, I will explain about main component and function. It's Muhammad Adib Afham bin Abdullah. Primary coil. Coil such that the current is induced in it by passing a current through the primary coil. Secondary coil. Coil such that current is induced in it by passing a current through the primary coil. Iron coil. Channel the magnetic flux generated by the current flowing around the primary coil so that as much of it as possible also links the secondary coil. This is the example of component of step up transformers. Since you are here, I'm going to explain to you about step up transformer. Hello, my name is Muhammad Azrin Shafiq bin Azhan. Today, as I was said earlier, I'm going to show you uh, or explain to you, sir, about uh, step up transformer. But first, we need to know what is a transformer. Transformers are devices that change the voltage of power supply to meet individual need of power consumers. It uses the principle of electromagnetic induction to change the voltage. A transformer is made of a soft iron coil with the other, other, other coils wound around it. It's not connected with one another. The iron coil can be arranged on top of another or a separate lens in the iron coil. There are two types of transformers. First, it is a step-down transformer and generally, the difference between them is amount of voltage produced depending on the number of a secondary coils. In a step up, in a step down, transformer is one secondary windings are fewer than the primary windings. Step up transformers. This is the real way of a step up transformers. As I was said earlier, this is a coil, uh, a primary winding. This is secondary winding. But if a step down transformers, there is no uh, current flow like this. It just stated that primary winding and secondary winding. So this is the theoretical way of uh, sketching a step-up transformer. Step-up transformer 
What is a step up transformer? It is a direct opposite of a step down transformer. There are many turns in the secondary winding than the primary winding in the step up transformer. Thus, the, the voltage supply in the secondary transformer is greater than the one apply supply across the primary winding. Because of the principle of the conservation of energy, the transformer converts from low voltage to high voltage. In other words, the voltage has been stepped up. You can find you can find the step up transformer located near the power plant that are designed to power to operate the mega the megawatts of power, of power. As we all know, the transformer are the device that change the voltage of power supplies to meet individual individual need of power. Apart from the power plant, step up transformer can also be used for a local and smaller application such as X-ray that require about 50,000 volts to work. Other than that, microwave oven require a small steps steps step up transformer to operate. Now I'm going to show to explain to you sir about a type of metal winding. Type of the metal winding used is one of the cons consideration used in the determining the efficiency of the transformer. Basically, copper coils is much more efficiency than the metal coils such as aluminium. That's all for me. Thank you, sir. Belum lagi. Hello, my name is Harry. In this video, I'm going to talk about the calculation and application of a step-up transformer. So here's one example, as you can see, this is the circuit diagram or the electrical symbol of a transformer. So there are two sets of coil. On the left side, we have primary coil, and on the right side, we have the secondary coil. From here, you notice that the right side has more coils than the left side. So this indicates that we have a step up transformers. So first, let's say the primary coil is 100, the secondary coil is 1000. The primary voltage is 15. What is the value of the secondary voltage. So, since the voltage is proportional to the number of coil, we notice that the number of coil increase by the factor of 10. So, it means that the secondary voltage will be 10 times higher than the primary voltage. So, 15 divided eh, 15 multiplied by 10, you will get 115 volt. Next is the primary current, 10 amps. So, what will be the value of the secondary current. From here, we know that the coil increase from left to right, the voltage will increase, but the current will decrease. So the current going to decrease by the factor of 10. So 10 divided by 10, you will get 1 amp. Next, to find the power of the transformer, we're going to use the formula of P equal to VI. So to find the power input, multiply 15 and 10, you will get 150. Power output, multiply 150 and 1, you get 150 watt. From here, the input power is equal to output power. So that means the power absorbed by the transformer is equal to the power delivered by the transformer. Now we can come up with an equation that can relate this variable together. So since N increase, V increase, and I decrease, the formula will be NS over NP. That's the ratio between turns in the secondary coil compared to the turns in the primary coil equals to Vs over Vp because these two are proportional. But this is equal to Ip over Is because the current is increased related to N and V. Since the power in and out are the same, so the formula will be the primary V times primary current equals to secondary voltage times secondary current. Next, here's one example. A transformer has 400 primary turns and 1,800 secondary turns. The input voltage is 12 volt and the output current is 3 amp when connected across a resistor. From here, we need to find the output voltage, the output current, the value of resistor, and how much power is dissipated by the resistor. So here's a circuit diagram of the transformer. So from here we have the primary 
coil, which is 400, the secondary coil, 1,800, primary voltage of 12 volt, and the secondary current of 3 amp. <coughs> First, we need to find the secondary current. So, we will use the formula of Ns over Np equals to Vs over Vp. So, solve the equation, we will get the value of 54 volt for secondary current, I mean secondary voltage. Next is the primary current. So from here, we will use the formula of Ns over Np equals to Ip over Is. Solve the equation, and we'll get a value of 13.5 primary current. Next, what is the resistor of the transformer? So the formula will be V equal to Ir. Since the resistor is located at the secondary side, so we'll use the secondary voltage and the secondary current. So solve the equation, we'll get 18 ohm. For the power of the transformer, we'll use the formula of P equal to I square R. Solve the equation, we'll get the value of 162 watt. In example 2, a transformer has an input voltage of 11.9 volt and an input current of 49 amp. The output voltage is 120 volt and the output current is 5 amp. So from here, we need to find the power that was absorbed by the primary coil, the power was delivered by the secondary coil, and determine the efficiency of the transformer. So here's a circuit diagram. So we have primary voltage, which is 11.9 volt, secondary voltage, 120 volt, primary current, 49 amp, and secondary current, 5 amp. In this situation, we know that from there will be a power loss happen in the transformer. So to find the power input, we will use the formula of VP IP. So solve the equation, we get 583 by 1 watt for power output. We will use the formula of VSIS. So solve the equation, we get 600 watt. So here's the, there are two different power values. So it means that we have a power loss happen. So to find the efficiency of the transformer, we will use the formula of uh, power output over power output plus power loss times 100%. So the equation will get the efficiency of 97.2%, which is there are not so much power loss happen in the transformer. So lastly is the application of the step up transformer. So from the diagram shown, a transformer acts as a transmission of electric power from power station to the consumer. Voltage is stepped up by using step up transformer. It minimizes the power loss in the transmission line. So that's all from me. Thank you.